morning, boys and girls. We've been working with this letter this week. Do you remember what letter that is? This is the letter V. Okay, remember we have our capital V and our lowercase V. And the V makes the V sound, like in violin and vest and victor, the vulture, and valentine. All of those things begin with the letter V. So today we're going to be doing some things with the letter V. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this paper here. Okay, we have our capital V. Remember, we go down and up. And our lowercase V, down and up. Okay, so we're going to do that first. And what we're going to do with this paper today is we're going to do, um, we're going to be tracing the, diff the letters using all of our different colors. Okay, we're going to do like a rainbow tracing. Let's start with our lightest color, which is the color yellow. Okay, so take your yellow crayon, and what we're going to do is we're going to start with our capital V, our uppercase V, and we're going to start on the left at the top, and we're going to slant down and up. Okay, that's our capital V, and we're going to do the same thing with our lowercase V. Start on the left at the top, slant down and up. Now take your orange crayon, okay? Find that one, find your orange crayon, and we're gonna do the same thing with our orange. Are you ready? Start at the top, slant down and up. Okay, let's do the same thing on our lowercase v. You ready? Slant down and up. What letter are we making? The letter V. What does V sound like? Mm. All right, let's try our red crayon now. Take your red crayon, Okay, let's try it again. Are you ready? Start at the top, slant down and up. Okay, and one more time, slant down and up. Let's try this color. What color is that one? Green. Good. Take your green crayon. We're going to try our green. Start at the top on the left, slant down and up. Okay, let's do the lowercase one now. Slant down and up. Okay, and now take your blue crayon. We're going to do the same thing again with our blue crayon. Are you ready? Slant down and up. Slant down and up. And one more time. Let's take our purple crayon this time. Okay, let's try it one more time. Are you ready? Slant down and up. Slant down and up. Okay, so it kind of looks like a rainbow. Something that begins with the letter V is a valentine. What shape is a valentine? Do you know? It's shaped like a heart. Great. So this time what we're going to do, we're going to draw our valentine. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky, but I'm sure you can do it. Okay, take your red crayon, and what we're going to do is we're going to go up and slant down. All right, now we're going to do the other side the same way. You're going to go up and slant to the bottom. So it looks like a heart. Okay, and then what you can do is you could take your purple or violet and then you can make little squiggles around the outside like this. Okay, you could do little, little hills, little bumps to make it look like lace. And there we have a valentine. And valentine begins with the letter V. All right, so that's one of the things that we're going to do. Something else, did you know that you could actually make the letter V with your fingers? If you take these two fingers, okay, take these two fingers, what letter do we make? The letter V. Look at that. Okay, the letter V. So another thing we're going to do is we're going to be tracing something else with the letter V. And you have this paper here. We have our capital or uppercase V on the top. And this is a vest. Remember, a vest looks like this. Okay, a vest is kind of like a jacket with no sleeves. I know in the winter time, some of you wore a puffy vest under your regular jacket to help keep you warmer. And some people wear it as part of like a suit or something. So we're going to be tracing our capital V and our lowercase v. Okay, so at the top of the page, we have our capital V. Let's take our finger first, take your pointer finger, and we're going to trace the dark one first. Slant down and up. All right, now I want you to take your purple or violet crayon, and we're going to trace. We're going to start at the top, 
and we're going to trace right on the dotted lines. And remember, make sure you're looking at your paper, right? Okay, are we ready? Let's draw it together. Slant down and up, okay? Down and up, and one more time. Slant down and up, okay? So look at your paper. Now this is a vest, and you can go back later on and you can color that vest. Whatever color you want to make it is fine. And down here we have our lowercase v. So again, take your pointer finger, and we're going to trace down and up. And now we'll trace our letters. So we're going to slant down and up, down and up, down and up. Okay, so trace your letter V. Now down here we have a vase. This is a vest. You can see that the capital V made the opening of the vest at the top. And this is a vase. Yesterday we made a vase using the letter V. And here they have a vase made out of the letter V also. So you can go back then and you can color your vest and you can color your vase with your flowers and you could do that later on however you want to do it. Now there's one more thing we're going to be doing with the letter V. And what we're going to do, we said this is a vest, okay? This is a vest, and we're going to make a vest now, okay? We're going to take, make our own vest, not one that we could really wear, because obviously it's made out of paper, but we're going to take your picture of the vest, okay? And the first thing you're going to do, take whatever color you want. You could make it all different colors. You can make it one color. Take whatever color you would like to make it, okay? And we're going to color your vest. What I want you to do, okay, we're not going to go all the way to the edge when you're cutting, when you're coloring rather. You want to just kind of go around through here. So we're going to color your vest. So you can color the whole vest. Make it whatever color you want to make it. Or, like I said, if you want to make it all different colors, that's fine too. So we're going to color your vest. Remember when you're holding your crayon, you want to pinch your crayon. Okay, and you can go back and forth. Go back and forth and you're going to color in the whole vest whatever color you want to make it is fine you can make it one color you can make it two colors you can make it rainbow you can make designs on it if you want it's your vest you can color it or decorate it however you want okay so I'm just gonna make it all one color but you can make it however you want to make it make it real pretty okay make it how you would Maybe you want to wear a vest. So we're coloring our vest, however you want to do it. Now look at your paper, okay? You want to try to do a nice job. And then what we're going to do after we finish coloring it, we're going to cut it out. How many of you have a vest at home? I know some of you had them in winter. Sometimes a man will wear a vest under his suit jacket. It kind of makes it a little more fancy. Okay. All right, do you remember that other color that we said we can call purple? It begins with the letter V. Violet. All right. So however you want to do your vest, when you're all finished coloring your vest, we're all finished coloring your vest, now we're going to cut it out. So we're going to take our scissors. Now you see we have a straight line here, and then we have this dotted line around the outside. What we're going to do is we're going to cut on the lines, on the outside line, we're going to cut out our vest. Remember when you take your scissors, you have your thumb, goes in the little hole on the top, and your other fingers go in the big hole on the bottom, okay? Always make sure that the scissors point away from your body. You always want to see your thumbnail up on the top, scissors away from your body, and where should we be looking when we're cutting? Should we look out the window? No. Should we look at the ceiling? No. Should we look at our dog? No, we have to look at our paper, okay? Remember, we don't want to cut our hair, we don't want to cut our clothes, we don't want to color our, cut our other hand, we don't want to chop apart our picture. So take your time, cut very slowly and carefully, 
and we're going to go on this outside line and follow around our paper. Okay, so very slowly and very carefully holding your paper with your helping hand, slowly and carefully cut on that outside line. Your helping hand is gonna hold your paper and that's what's gonna help you turn your paper. Okay, it's gonna be turn, turn, turn. Okay, when you get to the other part of it, turn your paper again. Now be careful as you're cutting. Remember what I said, take your time and go slowly because you don't want to cut your fingers on your other hand. Okay, very, very carefully. Okay, I'm going to cut off this here and then I'm going to turn my paper the other direction. Sometimes it's easier when you cut off the edge and then go back the other way. Okay, now this one we're going to go up that straight line there to the other side. Okay, very slowly very carefully, take your time, look at what you're doing, remember up and down, up and down, up and down, okay, and now we'll cut off this last one here, okay, very slowly, very carefully, all right, so what did we make? We made a vest, and vest begins with the letter V, okay, 